Guten Tag. Today we have two Bricklink packages all the way from Germany. This one looks like it had a rough go at it, so hopefully all the pieces made it safely across the pond. And then I will also tell you about my nightmare experience with UPS International and why I will never use them again. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start with this one just so I can get this off my chest. Like, <laughs> UPS, man. Um, I just happened to choose the UPS option on the shipping. It was uh, $30 shipping. The pieces in the order were $150 roughly. $30 uh, shipping for UPS International. Apparently it was an expedited um, option, even though it, it still took two weeks to get here, um, which is about what I've experienced with USPS and other options. Um, the package makes it all the way to my house attempted delivery and they leave a note saying I owe them $120 for duties and custom, whatever, all that stuff. That's insane. <laughs> At this point I've paid UPS more than I paid the Bricklink seller. And I'm just so frustrated by it. It was too late to do anything. Um, so of course I, I just paid it. I'm not going to have it sent back to the seller and um a, a bunch of other nightmares and i'll probably have to pay it anyways that'll go to collections i don't know <sighs> just so so frustrating so it made it here <laughs> um let's see what we got so we got some cool stuff here um and, and quantity that's why i had to go to germany to get all this um i got lots of these guys for the um the motors and, and, and bogies and everything. Uh, I think there's, yeah, six of, uh, six of the ones with the little cutout here for the newer motors. And there's actually two nine volt ones in here. Um, just as, just as spares. I don't think I actually needed them. Um, I got a couple more buffers here. So I've got, um, well, yeah, they all three have the, um, the snow plow piece. One, two, three. Yep, that's correct. Um, yeah, that's the one without the cutout. Um, I also got some of these because I was building some old sets and um, didn't have these in the right size. Um, so I bought two different sizes, three of each. Just in case they come in handy one day. You can't really brick build this. You know, If you use the piece, um, if you use the gear rack, on the just piece it, it's a little higher it doesn't work so i ordered those just if i want to play around and build some older sets because i think that's the thing i like to do and the absolute mother load of <laughs> monorail stanchions as they're called and some of them are a little warped in the base i don't know if you can see that or not but um that one's straight um, again, if you plot these down on a base plate and then rip them up, you, this can get damaged very, very easily. Okay. So I'm supposed to have 11 of the taller ones. So we got four, six, eight, 10, 12. 14. Oh, it's supposed to be 14. There was a line through it. <laughs> then I got nine of the shorter ones. These all look in fine condition. Just a random piece. Oh, it does have a Lego logo. I mean, you, you won't be able to see it, but <laughs> uh, Lego at some point. And then this is why I placed the order. 40 pieces of Lego 9-volt train track. And, uh, yep, it shows it here. I paid 260 each for them euro, which is almost basically a dollar at this point. Um, and you know, looking, if I had, if you type in minimum quantity 10, you're going to be paying like $4 each easy in the U S I've seen some as high as $10 per piece of track. <laughs> so even with all the, the, with UPS screwing me over and everything else, I still didn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. 
I mean, I'm so upset about it. <laughs> but um, it still wasn't that bad. And this is, and this, it, the nine volt track just seems to be drying up um, online. So that's why I'm, I'm buying as much as I can so I can build some pretty sweet layouts before it's all gone. Okay. Yeah, this was not a great box choice. Um, it's just too thin. Um, you know, the, you, when you ship anything, it's going to be in cold and heat. It's going to be in humidity and, and up in the air and, and different. I mean, just it's going to see a lot <laughs> on its way over here. Um, every opening, I would have had tape across like this opening and this, you know, like tape is cheap. The stuff you're shipping is not. Um, always don't be afraid to use too much tape. <laughs> um, actually, uh, I'm going to have to pause the video real quick. I want to take some pictures of this before I go any further. All right. So like I said, I want to take a few pictures first, just in case anything is missing. Even if there's not anything missing, I'll probably shoot them the seller a message and be like, um, you know, this box probably wasn't a good toy. I'm not like mad, but I just let people know my experience because um, it could help somebody in the future if I never deal with them again fine but okay not great on the just <laughs> throwing this on top it's still bouncing around in there but whatever oh boy yeah I desperately need <laughs> uh, more of these uh, I think I just got one um, I got another Nine volt crossing, 90 degree crossing. Looks pretty good. Um, this one looks a little rough. I think um, on the listing, I think it said that they weren't in great condition or, or some were priced lower than others because of the condition. Um, this stuff usually cleans up okay. And you gotta remember, I keep, I forget this every five years. <laughs> the, um, the motor it's actually making contact on the inside of the rail not on the top so that's actually where the electricity is making continuity so that's actually where you need it the cleanest um, so i got some right and left this time so i'll be able to do a little bit more um, with the line nine volt section of the layout good lord how many did i order <laughs> like i said this stuff's kind of drying up so i'm i'm buying it all up i guess one, two, I got seven total. Um, none of them seem to have, well, this one has a broken piece there. I think that's okay for the way that I um, motorize these. That should be okay. Two more speed regulators. Um, they were cheap, so um, why not? Um, <laughs> You know, if, if they're already shipping something this size, you know, a few of them, um, might as well throw some extra stuff in there. Another ungeared 9-volt motor. This must have been really cheap for me to just throw it on like that. <laughs> Again, I ordered all this a couple weeks ago, so. Oh, okay. And I got the little feet um, for these so I could glue them on if I wanted to. Um, yeah, I, th I think this was like six bucks. So I, I was like, yeah, why not? I don't know if I have one for my EV3. Again, my EV3 was, um, I got from a thrift store. It's in an older uh, video um, where I cleaned the battery acid out of it. And let's see if I need to clean this guy. Ooh. Well, it did leave the batteries in, but I don't see any battery acid damage so if you sell on bricklink ebay anywhere if you like if you want your remote control to work next year <laughs> check the batteries leave a you can leave a, a reminder to swap them every i don't know i don't know what maybe two years <laughs> maybe, but i mean it, it it's just something to keep in mind um or if you're putting something up for storage it's a good idea to keep an eye on those batteries all right, so we've got a nine volt polarity switch or uh, power functions polarity switch and one and two 
sets of the power functions LEDs. These look fine. Uh, and these were just kind of random pieces um, I'm always in need of. We've got the 9 volt um, electric plates. These aren't too bad off. I mean, they, these get pretty dirty and, and get a little bit of crud on them. These, I don't have that many of these, but I've actually really come in handy. <laughs> so I got uh, two of those from them. Um, the 9 volt polarity switch from back in the day. And these are AquaZone pieces. I need these to finish off my um, Explorer subs. I, I can't remember what it's called. And one <laughs> GBC uh, soccer ball. Just to have one because I've been using the third party ones. So that's it for this haul. I'm debating whether I want to keep this going of, of unboxing literally everything I get in the mail. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of debating on that if it's really if it's kind of making things harder for me to make um, better more engaging videos um, you know the bigger projects if I'm spending you know these packages kind of sit on the staircase for a while waiting for a couple others to come in so I can unbox it all together I've still got a couple in there now <laughs> um, yeah so I'm not sure but you feel free to leave a comment um, if you enjoy this kind of stuff um, let me know. I mean, I, I've watched Brixar unbox tipper truck parts <laughs> far more times than I care to remember, and I still do. Um, but yeah, I value your input. If you've subscribed, why? What, what, what was the thing that made you subscribe? Um, I would be curious to know. Thanks for making it this far. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.